Welcome to the Port of Houston Links tutorial. Please turn up your volume in order to hear the audio demonstration. We will get started in a few seconds. Thank you for taking the time to listen and view this demonstration on the Port of Houston's customer portal links. This tutorial will help explain the registration process as well as basic navigation throughout the site. We will be sure to cover each of the main sections of information as well as provide contact information if you have questions once you begin to use links. Links is a new program purchased to provide our customers with one single site to view information from both of the Port of Houston container terminals. This portal also allows us the flexibility to add functionality and enhance the existing queries in order to bring more value to you. A few of the most popular features include import availability query, vessel schedules, booking details, gate transaction information, and equipment history inquiries. The following slides will provide you with an overview of links that will help you to easily navigate through the program. The Port of Houston customer service teams help support this program and are available for questions or additional support. Those contacts are listed in the closing slides. Links is a web-based program that is made available to you at the link highlighted on the slide. We recommend that you use Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox as Internet Explorer does not support all the features offered within Links. If you have an account with Links, the login process is simple. You enter your username and password into the provided fields and click Login. Account registration will be discussed on the next slide. Please note that if you had an account with the previous PHA systems, Web Access, and CAP, you will need a new account with links. Forgot your password? Not a problem. You can use the reset feature directly from the link's sign in page. An email will be sent to you with a temporary password. You will then be able to log into links with your temporary password and can change it once you're successfully logged in. If you do not have an account with links, you can register on the link's sign in page. Simply click the drop down field where it says register for and choose the terminal you wish to access. Most users will want to view details at both terminals, so please choose all terminals to begin the registration process. Links registration is handled completely through the Links homepage. You are provided with a sign-up screen containing fields for you to enter your information. You can choose your own username and password. The username must be more than three characters and less than 25. An error message will appear if the password does not meet the required values. Towards the bottom of the sign-up page, you will be asked for your access type. There are different levels of access that you can request depending on your job responsibilities and the level of information you need. All requests are approved through the PHA Container Terminal Customer Service Team. They review all pending access accounts and will approve them or contact you with any questions. An email will be sent to you once the approval has been granted. If you choose Query Only Access, your access will be approved automatically unless there is a problem with your registration form. You are now a Links user. The home page contains the main menu items, but we have also added valuable links to help provide additional information. Moving clockwise around the page, you will see everything that is available. By choosing Links User on the far right, you can change your account details, password, and view payment history for your user ID. Users with access to guarantee payments will have a red Make a Guarantee button that links to the payment page. PHA Quick Links are on the bottom right of the screen. These are direct links to the PHA vessel schedules, the damage inspection images, and daily terminal announcements. Terminal announcements will include daily chassis instructions, holiday gate schedules, important terminal updates, and even emergency announcements as necessary. Along the left side of the page, you have the navigation panel with different query options. This is the section of the page where you will choose the category for your query. We will review each of these options in the following slides. On the far right of the links screen, there is a drop down menu available for each user titled Links User. By clicking this drop down menu, you will have options to log out of links, edit your account, or change your password. The edit account option opens a screen with your registration information. You are able to update your email address, phone number, or name tied to your account. The most widely used section of this page is called 
change terminal. This is where a user can swap between the two container terminals, Bayport or Barber's Cut. The current view will be listed at the top of the links screen. In this example, we are viewing the Port of Houston Barber's Cut. The main navigation panel for links queries is on the left side of the screen. These are categories listed for each set of queries and actions that a user might require. We will now move through each of these sections. By clicking on Equipment, you will see several additional options. The level of your access will determine the options you have available. The most widely used features in this category are Equipment Inquiry, Equipment Delivery Order, and On Hire Equipment. The Equipment Inquiry allows the user to enter a single container number, and links will provide the known information from the terminal system. The container holds and history are also found once the user queries a container. Equipment delivery order, or EDO, queries require the EDO to be entered. The terminal's information will be returned, including tallies and total quantities for each size and type of equipment. The on hire equipment feature provides the user the ability to enter a container number to see if it is on file at the container terminals. If it is on file, the container's physical details and ownership information will be returned. If it is not on file, an error message will be displayed stating the container information cannot be found. We found this to be a very valuable tool for our customers, so they do not dispatch drivers to the terminal without ensuring equipment is placed on terminal files. Next is Imports. The Import option will provide details for import availability, bill of lading history, and the ability to manage availability notifications. Providing customers with information regarding equipment availability is the most common question we receive by phone or email. This information is made available to Lynx users in this section of the portal. Containers can be queried in bulk or one at a time. Lists can be pasted from this form from another document such as an email, Excel file, or Word document. The result of the query will look similar to the image on this slide. The LFD, or last free day, represents the Port of Houston's last free day to the shipping line. The actual free time that the line provides to the end user may or may not be different than the Port of Houston's last free day. It is best to contact the shipping line to confirm the container's true last free day. Future enhancements are planned to include the line last free day information. As part of the import release inquiry, you will notice a red button to the right of the screen that states, Notify Me. When clicked, links will schedule a notification email to be sent to the user's email account when the container becomes available. A container is available for pickup when it is released from all holds and is in the terminal's yard. The Notify feature is extremely helpful to users. Numerous notifications can be set by the same user and can be managed through container notifications. The user can remove notifications that are no longer necessary as well as see what notifications are still pending. Links provides users with the ability to view gate transaction details. You can view these transactions by the transaction number or the equipment number. If trucking company is your access type, you will only be viewing transactions directly related to your company. All other users will be able to view transactions without a trucking company restriction. Gate transaction details can be viewed and printed in the format like the example on the top of this slide. A few trucking companies have been approved for the pre-advised gate process at Barber's Cut. This is a way to initiate the gate transaction through links. If you are an approved user, you will have the gate pre-advised and pre-advised search options on your screen. Export queries include booking inquiries and late arrival views. A booking inquiry will result in details about a specific booking. That information can include hazardous or refrigerated cargo details, vessel information, first receival and cargo cutoff dates, and equipment sizes and types. The late arrival list is a very nice feature for those customers that have approved late gates for specific containers. The user can query the vessel name and the approved containers will be listed with the late cutoff date and time. The top image on this slide is an example of an approved late arrival. There are several reports built into links. The most widely used is the vessel schedule. Select a start and end date and click preview. 
The image of the vessel schedule report will populate on the bottom half of the screen. This report can be printed or exported to an alternate file format if needed. Many customers have credit accounts established with the Port of Houston. Those account holders can request access and links to be able to guarantee payments online. If you do have access for payment guarantees, your home page will include links to the guarantee page like those highlighted on this slide. The Port of Houston does not currently accept credit card or electronic check payments, but is looking into the options of offering these payment services in the future. We do allow payments by check or online credit guarantee. If you do not have a credit account, but would like to begin the credit application process, you can contact the Port of Houston Credit Services Department at 713-670-2539. Those with established credit with the Port of Houston can guarantee payments for terminal services such as USDA exams and vacancy exams. We will expand these guaranteeable services in the future to include additional terminal services. Demerge is not a fee that can be guaranteed online. You will need to contact the shipping line directly to settle any demerge charges. In order to process a payment guarantee, the container numbers can be listed singularly or in bulk. The user will be asked to confirm the guarantee before the guarantee is submitted. This guarantee will be associated to the organization listed for the user ID. If there are any questions regarding the guarantee process or regarding specific exams, the Port of Houston Yard Services Departments can assist. Those contacts are listed on this page and are available on the next slide as well. The Port of Houston Container Terminals can offer you assistance with links and any other terminal questions by contacting the customer service departments. We have a single contact phone number that will direct you to the appropriate terminal and department as needed. The contacts listed on this slide can help provide any documentation, tips for links, or assist with information you're looking for. Please feel free to reach out to any of us with any questions. Thank you again for taking the time to view this tutorial. We greatly appreciate your business and look forward to assisting you.